So today we're back in District 9 Coven where we have this fully built up three-story plus attic modern semi-D with a private lift and a front yard that parks three cars. It is just right along Jalan Teliti. Stick with us as we check it out. So welcome to the unit. Let me first give you the unit facts. This is a three-story plus attic semi-D that's built up to 9,300 square feet with 10 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. It's sitting on 4,188 square feet of freehold land and it even comes with its very own private lift. Now let's go to the zoning on the map. So Jalan Teliti comes under the Aukang planning area. Subzone is Lorong Asu with a population of 32,330. And the landed housing control plan is three-storey mixed landed. Okay, so let's begin here on the front porch with a little bit of orientation. The direct facing outwards to the gate is northeast facing and you have a very beautiful frontage over here of 9.2 meters wide by 42.9 meters long all the way. And it's almost a perfect rectangle with flat land and you have a huge enough sliding gate that's mechanized it's automatic you got a pedestrian gate over here so your car is going to turn in very beautifully and on the plans it looks like you can park three to four cars continental cars and you can see you have more than enough turning space over here for when you're having your guests and your family over so right now let's go into the place you have a huge humongous frontage of 4.5 meters and that's because our owners have cleared it with the flooding mechanisms that they've installed in front of the front door. You have a humongous living space coming straight through and this is fully cladded with marble on the floors and you can see that there's a feature wall that's been put in and it's very nice and beautiful with a elevated dining space and this is the formal dining area. So you have a comfortable dining space over here with an eight to 10 sitter uh, where you can host all your friends and family. And to the back, you've got a open sliding door with a nice water feature going over here. So this is the side recess and they're using it as a green area. So you've got plants all the way over here, lining up all the way to the end. Uh, you've got a nice open outdoor washing area for you with water points, easily for you to hydrate your plants. Now let's go into the rest of the home. So this is a understair storage that's right beside the lift shaft and this lift shaft brings you all the way up to level 4 which is the attic. There's a concealed room over here. You can see that the ID finishing has already been uh, put in so that you don't even know that there is actually a room here for all your storage. Then diagonally across is also a concealed bomb shelter for more storage and let's go right across here into the first room which is currently being used as a baby's room so you have a good sized room with all the carpentry put in and it's connected to a jack and jill bathroom over here which is fully fitted with light and dark scale tiles that goes across the bottom and divides it above now let's check out the room right across so this is a good sized room that they have converted into a baking area. So you've got the fridge put in, you've got stainless steel tables going over here. But what you will notice is it is good size for you if you want to turn this into a granny's room and there's even a bathroom to the rear. Okay, now let's go and check out the kitchen. So if you're coming out from this room, turning to the right, this is a maid's bath over here. Then there's another storage room. Then we're coming into a dry kitchen so you have a nice rectangular dry kitchen over here you've got a small fridge that's been put in open head and top hung cabinets have been put in you've got an island that runs out this way this is granite countertop lining the beautiful surface then out here to the back where you have natural light streaming through is the open outdoor kitchen space have a look so the thing I appreciate about this unit is the stairwell is neatly tucked to the side and it's not protruding out, uh, disrupting the full layout. So right now, let's go to the floor plan and I'll tell you about the second level. So the whole of the second floor can be divided into two halves. First half is where the master bedroom is with the walk-in wardrobe and the study. Then the second half, you've got the outdoor family area plus a bathroom that leads you into common bedroom one and then a junior master bedroom with an ensuite and a walk-in wardrobe with the balcony to the back. Okay, so let's start with the master. Straight through this door is 
direct access into the office over here. So this is a very nice space where you can really just convert into an office or a library where you can have your private Zoom meetings and it's very efficient for uh, bosses who just want to work out of home where you have a secondary space aside from your office or your factory, right? Then we're coming into the master bedroom where you have a humongous double queen size bed over here that our owners have put in with a backboard with carpentry set in and it's very nice and comfy. Right across you've got carpentry, huge TV over here for you to kick back, relax and enjoy movie night. Then you've got windows to the side. Coming straight through is the entryway into dual bathrooms. So this unit has a very special feature which is his and her individual bathrooms. Then there's a walk-in wardrobe over here with enough wardrobe space for him and her. Then to the right over here is an outdoor space that our owners have kind of converted into additional storage over here. Then there's another door that opens out into the RC roof terrace. And this is sitting above the front porch where you can really just uh, come out for a breath of fresh air. Or you can hang out over here and even use this space as a laundry space because the owners have already done up the awnings that will shade it. Now let's go check out the rest of level two. So let's go out into the walkway over here. And the first room that awaits us outside is the family room. So this is the most communal space just right off the lift landing that opens up over here. You've got a huge armchair going there. Behind it is all windows where natural light and ventilation can come through. You've got a sofa, you've got a TV going over here, AC, nicely done. Then right to the side is a good sized bathroom that services the common bedroom over here. Finally, let's go to the rear because I want to show you this junior master bedroom which is currently being converted into Amma's room. So this is Granny's room where you have the bed, you have carpentry going, you have a mini TV console, a sofa area going over here. Then you've got the bathroom and the bathroom is nicely done up. So they've segregated another space over here which can be a study and a walk-in wardrobe. Check it out. Then in case Amma wants a little bit of fresh air, there's a terrace that leads out to the back and this is a balcony right here we're facing the southwest and if you're here with me you're going to feel that gentle breeze let's head up to level three so for level three if you're looking at the floor plans you will see that it's very similar to level two in the sense that the first half is entirely a junior master there are actually two rooms, good sized rooms, but have been merged into one. Then there's the family hall, then followed by the karaoke room, and there's a final bedroom with an ensuite to the rear. Okay, so let me show you the bedroom that's been fully merged. And it is facing the front over here, coming through this door. Originally, these are two separate bedrooms, but the owner has merged this because there are multi-generations living here and three families. So this is the eldest son's place. If you come into this room over here right now, they're using it as a wardrobe space. So you have a totally concealable door over here for the wardrobe. And then there's the couple's room. So this is a bedroom. Queen size bed has been put in. You have your ID done up, which is the back wall. And then we can go right across and you'll find that there is a bathroom attached over here. Then we're coming into a pantry space and another separate space. And they've opened it up into a workspace over here where you have two computers put in, carpentry is all across. You've got working desk space over here. And then this is a fully functional entertainment area where you've got your projector screen for movie nights. And if you want to do a little bit of gaming, you have your PlayStation over here, windows for ventilation. And then to the rear, we have a, a walk-in wardrobe and an attached bathroom. Now let's go into the hallway where you have a family space. And this is very typical. It's right in front of the lift landing for all the occupants of this level to commune. And to our left is the switch room and this services the lifts over here. And the red box over here is a solar panel console because this home is fully equipped with solar panels lining the roof. So that means if you have a negative situation, then the government will actually pay you for power. If not, then it will basically offset the bill, which is huge energy savings. Now let's go into the karaoke room. 
So there's a separate room over here. They've done up a little bit of carpentry going and they've placed a karaoke system over here. So this is more like an entertainment room. There's a bathroom to the rear and it's an ensuite for every room. Then right beside here facing the back is Another good sized bedroom. You've got your walk-in wardrobe space over here, fully done up with the carpentry already. Then the bed placement is over here. They've created more carpentry, a partition for a total study space. So you can use this as your home office. This could be for a single person or maybe even a couple. Check it out, ensuite bathroom, ready for use. Okay, now let's go up to the fourth floor. So up this stairway, we arrive in the last and the final floor and this is actually the attic which is fully converted into two halves. So let's start up in the front portion. This is a good size family room which they are using over here and they have converted this space in front of the roof terrace into a mahjong room for your recreation and the roof terrace is fully utilised. There's even a nice putting green over there with marble table and outdoor furniture for relaxation. And let's go to the back. So because this is a multi-generational home, every single space has been thoughtfully curated and planned as a single family unit area. So this is really two bedrooms that have been converted into one. A family space open here with a pantry area, hangout areas over here. Then there is a bathroom to service it. Then if you're coming into this room, you immediately be greeted by a walk-in wardrobe, ensuite bathroom, and then this is the bedroom space. So then there's even a surprise concealed storage area under the attic and an additional study space for privacy right here. Okay, now let's talk about the numbers. Okay, so the calculation will look like this if you're just looking to buy a new plot of land. Today's average land cost is $1,200 PSF in this area. We multiply that by 4,188, which is the land cost, and then it will arrive at a 5 million odd figure. Thereafter, we're going to now calculate the building cost. So this is $400 per square feet times 9,300 square feet and it will come to a rough 3.7 odd mil. So if you tabulate that figure together, it will arrive at 8.7 mil and this is even before buyer stamp duty, mortgage and interest rates. So if you're going to compare this to our current units asking of just 8.3 million, that's more than 400 odd thousand savings. Plus, the perks is it's already ready. You don't have land rising cost risk, you don't have rising interest rate risk or building cost risk because you can easily move in almost immediately. Now let's go to the location. How are you going to come to this unit? If you're coming down from Upper Serangoon Road, then you'll see Coven MRT and Heartland Mall, which is just 600 meters away. You're going to make a turn onto Tampines Road, then onto Algang Avenue 1 and Jalan Teliti is just the first lane in. You've got a bus stop just outside Block 232, just 2 minutes away and these are the bus services. And if you're thinking about grocers, then NTUC Fairprice, Cold Storage Algang and Giant at Coven Centre are all just 700 metres away. And you've got 12 schools all located within a 2 km radius. You've got Paya Lebar Methodist, St Gabriel's and Maristella all within the vicinity. So I hope you've enjoyed this home tour so far. Kindly smash that like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore, and we'll see you in the next video. Another space over here, which what am I doing this? You've got um your what this one called? Beginner's luck. Let's go.